Now, this green belt challenge asks us to look into the theory that our overall patient satisfaction equals 80%. We'll use the file patient data. Because this is a one to standard comparison and we're looking at proportions, we will use the one proportion test. We'll set our alternative hypothesis as a two sided comparison that the percent of satisfaction is not equal to 80%. Alternative hypotheses cannot accept an equal sign, so we have to set this up as not equal. The null becomes the flip side of that, that the overall percent patient satisfaction equals 80%. We'll open our file and then we'll get started. This exercise will focus exclusively on column P, which was described in the earlier exercise. We're not interested in the satisfaction level for any particular office. We want to look at the satisfaction levels for the practice overall. Like before, we're going to start with an easy pivot table. So we go to Graphical Tools, Easy Pivot, Entire Table Next. We'll dump in Sat Discrete as the X1 variable uncheck charts and check grand totals. We don't need to break this out by office. This will just do a simple count for us of all the satisfieds versus dissatisfieds. When we hit OK, we get this nice analysis immediately. And the numbers we want to memorize or write down were that we had 100 surveys total and 67 of those were satisfied. Armed with that information, we can now go to Sigma Excel, Stat Tools, basic stat templates, one proportion test, and like before, we will enter in the sample size first. That was 100, and we'll enter in an event. In this case, an event was a satisfied patient, and we had 67 of those. We come down to the next box, which is the null hypothesis. What is the value of interest? In this case, that was 80%. We'll put in 0.8, and we come down to the next box. That is how our alternative hypothesis is set up as. We only have these three choices. This was a two-sided comparison, and we were asked to do a not equal. Given that information, we now look at the p-value, which is low the null must go. We reject the null, which is the same conclusion the software is asking us to make if you look over here. The sample proportion was 67%. If you look at the confidence interval at the bottom, it's telling us that we are 95% certain that if you interviewed all patients in our practice, that the true population percent satisfaction would lie somewhere between 56.9% and 76.1% if we're doing a little rounding. So in summary, we reject the null because of the low p-value. We are not equal to 80%. And in fact, we are 95% certain that the true population percent satisfaction is somewhere between 56.88% and 76.08%. Hopefully your answers came up to be the same. Let's move on.